From the other side of the aisle, Republican Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming joins us. Uh, Senator, your review as you sat there this morning and what you heard. Well, well, Eric, now we are starting to hear the rest of the story. And uh, what we see coming out uh, is, I think, evidence that undermined the, uh, the Democrat case and undermined uh, Congressman Schiff's credibility. I think he lost credibility significantly this morning as the evidence was presented of so many things that had been left out. How is that specifically? How, what do you mean by that? Well, as you know, they first read from the transcript that the president released of the phone call between President Trump and the president of Ukraine. And then they played a video of Adam Schiff in a congressional hearing in the House with his made-up fictional version of that phone call. And you could just see in the members of the Senate as this was being played, and I even saw it in Adam Schiff's face as the blood drained from it, that people said, my goodness, what people across the country have been seeing from Adam Schiff was just false. And then the White House uh, group laid out other areas that had been left out. There are some videos that the House managers played six, seven, eight times. You know, I wish they let them run a little longer because sometimes the next statement out of that witness's mind and mouth is one that just turns around completely what we had seen in that small clip played by the Democrats. You, you just made a very important point, uh, your view of Adam Schiff and the other senators. And because uh, of viewers at home, because of this is Senate TV, which let me go on the record saying I think that's wrong. I think that uh, it should be open to the press. We can't see the reaction of the senators. They don't show that to us. So when that clip of, uh, uh, of Mr. Schiff was being played, did you look around? Did, do senators look at each other and roll their eyes or eyebrows or what type of reaction? Did, do you guys have? Well, I, I saw a lot of smiles on the Republican side and on the Democrat side. I saw people either like quenching their lips or making a tight face or putting their hands to their face or their head. It was uh, the, the, the body language was so different. It was astonishing. And I think at that point, Republicans thought, finally, the president's case after months and months and months is finally starting to come out because we know that the process in the House was not fair. Only one in three Americans think it was fair. And that's why when we come back Tuesday, on Monday and Tuesday and hear more from the White House defense, what we are going to hear, I think, is more about the flawed process and more about the very flimsy case that the House is bringing. Yeah, and finally, Mr. Schiff responded, gave his review after the testimony. Let me play you a soundbite of Adam Schiff uh, and what he said uh, after the hearing. This is the overarching argument. Continue to maintain the president did nothing wrong. This may be the most dangerous point they make, because that means basically you can seek, as president of the United States, to get a foreign nation to help you cheat in an election. Uh, and you can do it through any means you like. How do you respond, Senator, to what Schiff says? Well, he's 100 percent partisan. He thinks that the 2016 election was fixed and unfair. And he also said he thinks the 2020 election isn't going to be fair because he doesn't trust the American voters. He wants to be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. He wants to take Donald Trump not just out of office, but his name off of the ballot. I think that he is trying to influence the upcoming election just as much as the last one. And it's just what I would expect from a very partisan process that was rushed, that uh, basically was a political stunt in then holding the articles for 33 days before sending them uh, to the Senate. And that's what you get when you do have a sloppy, rushed process that is 100 percent partisan. Senator John Barrasso, who will be back in his seat uh, without any electronic device, uh, just taking notes and listening on Monday when the trial resumes. Senator Barrasso of Wyoming, uh, thank you for joining Thanks, us sir. on this hour. Thank of you. Course. Right.